YTPC, Backwoods Piper 1. I was talking to you earlier this, when I made the uh, little video on my <coughs> wood cutting. <coughs> Excuse me. I said I was going to probably do a Yabo this week because I had, you know, broke down and ordered some more tobacco. Well, I got it in today. And uh, it's not really going to be a Yabo because, uh, I, honestly, I've already opened the bag. I mean, opened the box. But I'm going to fire this pipe up. Smoking the old Peterson Dracula. And then I'm trying out one of the tobaccos I got. And so without further ado, I'll let you know what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. What I'm smoking, I got all bulk blends, is Carnell and Deal Mountain Camp. I don't know if you ever had that. It's first time for me. And, uh, well, you know, first impression, I don't have a clue yet. I'm just firing it up. <clears throat> the other one I got is another one I haven't tried before. It's Carnell and Deals engine number 99. And also another one I haven't tried yet. I said I wasn't going to be trying a bunch of new ones because I was going to get mostly old the stuff that I really like. Well, I guess I was full of crap on that because this is the third one I haven't tried before. It's a Lane Limited BS005. And then I, well, I got... One ounce of the Engine 99. Two of the Mountain Camp and two ounces of the uh, Lane BS005. And I've been smoking at some Atlas Balkan by Cornell and Deal, and I really liked it, so I got four, four ounces of it. And the other one that I've been smoking quite a bit, and I really like it, I also got four ounces of it, and that was the Lane. Medal of Valor. And that's uh, the extent of my tobacco purchases. It's the first time in several months, actually, about two or three months, I believe. Two months. This engine, I don't know, not engine, no, no, no. it's Mountain Camp. The first taste though, it's not not too terribly bad. I'm not sure what all's in it. I again I should have looked it up before I started the video, but I didn't, so <laughs> once I smoke some more of it and I may stop set down and do a review on it, but uh, for right now, I'm just going to say it's not too terribly bad. Pretty tasty. But anyway, that's all I got for today. I finally got all that wood split and stacked that I did the other day. and Yeah, what the heck, I'll take you out there and show you the wood pile. <clears throat> don't have anything else going on today. Taking a few days off, and actually I've taken two weeks off, and... And, uh, heck, I might take another week off. I don't know. Let's go outside here and I'll show you my, uh, what I've done with the, the wood. Take you out here in my woodshed. Or one of my woodsheds, I should say. I have two. And I'll turn you around here and show you the, the wood that I got been cutting the last few, I don't know, I guess four or five loads worth. I got most of it in here and I'll, I'll turn you around here and show you. And that's it right now. You can see I got a pretty good stack of it. 
course this down here that's all the little short odd pieces that you know I'm not gonna throw that stuff away when I cut cut it to try and even them up somewhat and that makes good good uh, early season wood and that's what that's what this is over here this is my early season small stuff for the most part and, uh, <clears throat> I got a little bit more, you know, that's, like I say, that's pretty, pretty much going to be for this time of year and early spring. There's a few, of course, you see these stupid yellow jackets all love this stuff too. And, uh, there's my trusty old Ford 600 series tractor. Yes, yeah, so but that's, uh, the bulk of the wood. Now I got some more out here. I'll take you out to my other other area of well, the woodshed it's uh oh I got a pretty good stack in there not a ton but matter of fact I uh as we get closer you're gonna see this big old tarp laying there that's where I had my boat sitting and uh I just took it into the uh local boat shop and I'm going to get it tuned up and have them check it out and make sure everything's good because I'm going to be using it for my trap line this winter. But uh, well, here's some of it that I still got to, it's just a little bit under cover here. I've got a bunch of tin from a guy and covered the top of it so I got to pull all that out and split, uh, split it or stack it or something. I'm not sure what I got but this is some more of the stuff that I've cut recently and uh, stacked it in here. And this here is all from last or early. No, I don't know. Probably. Uh, I'm trying to think when I cut this stuff. January, maybe February. And this is uh, there's two cords sitting here. That's two. That's two cord of wood. Right there. So actually, a little more than two cords because a cord is four foot by four foot by eight foot long and these are all eight foot long and as you can see some of them most of those piles are bigger than four foot or taller than four feet so and i got quite a bit up under here you can see that a little bit but anyway that's uh that's my story for today this is monday and uh if my pipe went out i think i left my lighter in the house or in the shop yep i did but anyway that's uh that's all i got for you guys today i hope you always have a great week and uh as always keep your pipes lit and your uh tobacco dry backwoods piper one later